Study the three organic reactions below. Compounds T and W are organic compounds. R and S are inorganic substances. Consider only the major products. Okay. So we're supposed to study these three reactions before we can actually attempt to answer the questions. So let's take a look and see what is happening. So we have HBr plus T, which gives us W. There's nothing we can really unlock here with that information. Let's take a look at reaction two. Reaction two, we have W, which reacts with NaOH to give us this compound that we have, which seems to be an alcohol. So already we can make sense of what is happening. We can determine T and potentially W. So let's take a look. So HBr, that is a HBr is what we are adding to T, right? And then the product is W. And then when we add NaOH to W, of which what is happening here is a substitute, is a substitution reaction. We get CH3, CHOH, CH2, CH3, so on and so on. Because we know that W is saturated, right? Uh, it will be a halo alkane W, it seems. So if W is a halo alkane and we add NOH, then reaction 2 is actually a substitution reaction. Okay, so W, can we write the formula for W? I think we can. Uh, w should be CH3, right? And then we have PR and then... There we go, the other two carbons. That makes sense to be W because we're going to replace Br with the OH, hence the product here. Right, let's carry on and deduce more things. So reaction 3, we have the product of reaction 2, some inorganic reactant S, and then we have H2O. So we've removed H2O in the reaction 3. So it means that T should be an alkene and then reaction three should be dehydration because one of the uh, the other product is h2o so t is something like this so one two three one two three four one two three four so this is t this is t this has to be t right but t is the same thing that we had in reaction one so we have w and then we have t um what is s s is h2so4 right it's what we use when we want to uh, dehydrate and then r in that situation would be so w in w we have br and then so it means r is nabr nabr because we added the oh there from na from naoh okay um yeah that seems that seems good so 4.1.1, the IUPAC name of uh, W. So W is 2-bromobutane. Okay. And then 4.1.2, name of formula of R, N-A-B-R. Uh, okay. 4.1.3, two names of the type of reaction in reaction 1. So in reaction 1, we have an addition reaction. Uh, because T is an alkene and all reactions that start with an alkene are addition reactions. But to be specific, it's a hydro halogenation. Yeah. To be more specific, it is a hydro bromination. <laughs> right. Uh, so I don't know where they want us to go there. But I think those are all the names for that reaction. 4.1.4. Name of formula of S. S is H2SO4, like we've established. Um, okay, and then 4.1.5. Uh, we're looking for the formula, structural formula of compound T. Uh, so, yes, T. I'm just going to add the hydrogens here. So, yes, T. That is the structural formula of compound T. 
um one two three one two three four one two three four okay seems good and then 4.1.6 w can be converted to t in one step so we can go from w to t in one step that would be dehydro halogenation uh, true so what is the question states besides heat one other reaction condition uh, for this conversion uh we need so it is substitution right is it uh let me check so we're going from w to t no it's elimination so we need a concentrated base concentrated base uh naoh you know koh yeah so that the k will take the br and the oh will take the h and then we're gonna have kbr and h2o as the other products uh, that is 4.1.6 okay and then 4.2 uh what is the vein mm, 4.1.6 we have concentrated the base uh okay that is good and then 4.2 a compound with this formula c 10 h22 undergoes a cracking reaction according to the equation the mixture of the two compounds is bubbled in bromine water in a darkened room define the term cracking i'll let you do that 4.2.2 state one change beside a change in temperature that will be observed when the mixture is bubbled in br2 uh, the decolorization right decolorization uh, i'm not sure yeah it will decolorize yeah because uh, i think bromine water is greenish in color so when it reacts with an alkene of which 2x has to be uh, there will be a de de decolorization uh, it's a basic question if you've done a lot of post exam questions you should have gotten that question right uh i've solved similar questions in the channel obviously uh 4.2.3 right on the special formula compound x so let's determine what x is so c10 so we have c10 and then we have c4 c4 so how many carbons are we left with uh, on the right that we need we need six carbons on the right so because we have the coefficient of two there it means that this would be c3 so that uh, six carbons plus four carbons gives us 10 and then we have h10 there and then we have h here and then on the other side we have h22 so on the right hand side we are missing 12 carbons but we have a coefficient of two so that has to be six so that is c3h6 which is our plus c4h10 uh, so the total number of carbons would be 10 and that of hydrogens would be 22 i'm happy with that so structural formula of x so x is satu unsaturated this there has to be a double bond so one two three the position of the double bond does not matter because it would mean the same thing either way so that's what we have and then one two three four one two so let me check this is one two three four five six one two three four one two three four one two uh three four okay happy with that structure of x um and then 4.2.4 which compound x or c4 hn reacts faster with br2 explain the answer this is the last question so you know how we roll you guys have to tell me the answer in the comment section what is your answer to 4.2.4 is it x or is it c4h10 that reacts faster with br2 why do you say so let me know in the comments